Yo team, what is up? So, it's Saturday, it's the end of my deload, and that means it's time to go train legs. And heading back to Body Academy today, not been in Body Academy for six months, it's got one of the best hack squats I've ever used. So that is what I'm going to do today. You will see it all in the vlog. I am training with my natural bodybuilding client, Sam, and my bikini client, Lisa. So we're all doing legs together, and probably going to be some terrible doms to be honest because I've not used any of the equipment in uh, so long plus I've not trained legs for a week and I've had four days of training so it's going to be a real good one I cannot wait for it and just to make the day even better a bird has done a shit on my car so it's all good um, I'll throw up loads of the training footage I'll do a quick walkthrough of what I'm doing and why as well and you'll see some other random stuff When he wears jewellery and you see it as gangster, I see it as insecurity where I'm from. Everybody wants to make it out. So Lisa's, Lisa's finding her weight on, on the leg press and she's just done 25 reps. How was that? Uh, pretty brutal by the end. <laughs> when you start, when you're in your gym, finding your weight's hard. But now I'm back with my girlfriend, sorry Robin. The hack squat, you're gonna see a video on that, it's fucking brilliant. Like this just moves so smooth and then it just feels brilliant. Obviously it's hard, but the movement is so, so smooth. And now we're about to die on a leg press. See, when you say girlfriend, I'm not even talking about me, <laughs> But nobody wants to see somebody make it out. It ain't about who came around, but more about who stayed around. Behind the scenes, they say God gave us eyes to see. You see the video vixens and all their pearly whites But you don't see the dirty nights, long days and early flights You see the deals and think all these rappers laughing now But you don't get that if It's a lovely Sunday evening And I'm just getting some steps in I've actually been in front of the laptop all day Just doing a bit of work So I've not had a chance to get out um, And now I'm just like for what? So yesterday my deload finished, so four days off training, which isn't that long, but for anyone else that knows what it's like, it's not the most fun when you get told to deload. But so important because the weeks before that, I was feeling a bit sluggish, energy levels hadn't quite came back. Now I'm feeling a little bit better. And that leg session yesterday, which was obviously the first session back at Body Academy in ages, I felt strong movements were going well so that's a good thing and that's a good sign of this for this coming week i'm going to be training at a different gym this week i'm going to be training that exercise for less um which does have some pretty good kit so moving forward that deload might have been annoying nobody likes sitting on their ass but um i feel like it's definitely a good thing and overall Still feeling it a little bit, like aches and pains, but a lot less than uh, on Wednesday when I woke up. So time now just to push, time to go for a walk and enjoy the rest of the vlog. I'm just going to take you quickly through um, my leg day because obviously at the start of the video I go into some of the movements, but because of restrictions in COVID, I couldn't film the whole session and then put me speaking about the movements there because it's quite hard to have your camera stand etc in the middle of the gym so the way my leg day is set up i'm only doing one at the moment but i am doing a couple of um glute hamstring movements on my pull day um just to prioritize to bring up my hamstrings and glutes so leg day is set up like this first movement is an adductor and i just do one set with three failure points so that's one set to complete failure, I fail in the middle, then I fail a little bit wider, and then a little bit wider again. So basically just extending that set and try to just get, eke out a few more reps. So that is the start. Then from there I go into a seated hamstring curl, and that is a top set and a back off set. Pretty much two sets on everything, but a top set and a back off set. 
and then into a single leg lying hamstring curl. So you'll notice the trend here. We're trying to prioritize hamstrings hard. Um, also, I do have a slight imbalance, so adding in that unilateral work is going to be beneficial. For anyone out there training legs, I personally find that when I do two hamstring movements before I do a quad loading movement, I find it far smoother. Now this is anecdotal, of course, but when I do the two um, hamstring movements, the two curls, before I then go into my hack squat, I just feel a little bit more warmed up and I feel I can activate more, I can be more stable. Um, so try it if you're someone that when you go into your load movements perhaps feels that it's not as smooth as you'd like it to be. The all sets are taken to complete failure. Um, I was actually doing this session without force reps for the next couple of weeks. I just don't want any in there. So um, it was really smooth. The position felt great. And also, obviously, I've not trained in body academy for six months or so. The hamstring curls and that just move nice. Um, one of them's an old Cybex, so it just has a really good um, movement pattern on it and it just feels great. You can also move the, the pad up and down, which is really helpful in any sort of leg movement, um, just to line it up with yourself. So start off with two ham curls, then into the hack squat. And as I said in the video, that it's probably the smoothest hack squat I've ever used. I also somehow, no idea how, hit my top set from the last time I trained there for the same amount of reps, even though last time I trained there, I was 10 kilos heavier and I've not hack squatted in six months. So the spider bar in the garden and getting used to that has obviously paid off. Um, Carl's got a four second eccentric in the program, which you'll see prior on the, the video. And again, I find that doing that as I get to the bottom, I've got more ability to drive out. I feel like it's like a spring. As you come down, that you're really controlled with it, you can drive out. I do a slight pause in the bottom as well because I just find that that position works better for me. Um, so I go like really low, like pretty much to the bottom, and then I look to pause before driving out. That's not programmed, it's just something I find works better. The big thing for me with this hack squat or this rotation is, Last time I was putting more load on, but my eccentric was going a bit, so I'm going to make sure that's there. It's also um, one week I hack squat, one week I swing squat, so back and forward. The aim is to progress them consistently across the board, because last time when I was there, hack squat was going up, but the swing squat had kind of stalled. So I'm going to move around, find a better position on that, and then really get some progression. After the hack squat, right on the leg press. Um, the position on this one is very quad dominant. So where my feet are um, angled is a little bit lower down the pad. And I'm looking to, again, get as much depth as I can without the hips lifting. This one allows for quite a lot though. So I can pretty much get knees right up towards the chest. Um, it feels brilliant. It's just got like, you'll know what it's like if you train at like pure gyms, etc. The leg presses just move shit and they've got a really funny angle on them. This one has a real good seat angle. It's quite low. And also the way the, the pad moves towards you, it's just brilliant. So that was um, a loading set of 8 to 10 and then back off of 15 to 20. So the rep ranges do vary a lot across every movement. Then it was on to a leg extension, just two sets, one 8 to 10 and one 10 to 15. Um, and that again, the leg extension, I bring the pad relatively high up. So it's not at my knee, but it's at the top of my shin or three quarters of the way up. And it just feels so much better. Like the contraction I can get is amazing. This one we did add a little bit of force reps in just because I was hitting failure quite early because well, I've not changed with those movements in so long that I was gassed out. Um, and after that, it was just straight on our calf raise. So you can see with the, the, the program in there, if you looked at that on paper, and I'll have it on the screen as I'm speaking, for a lot of people, they'll look at that and they go, that's not a lot of exercises, that's not a lot of volume. But what people need to get out of their mind is, you need to do absolutely everything at once and do every movement in the gym instead of, just getting better at doing the movement. So you don't need to be doing 
12 exercises per body part. You just need to be progressively overloading and moving the weight well. And I think that's one of the biggest things. People don't train with intensity and they also do a lot of movements, but they're not getting a high percentage of contraction out of it. So they're doing a movement, but it's just half arsing it, moving the weight about, rather than just lowering the volume, going to failure and focusing on doing them well. So that is my top tip for growing your legs. Like you need to be able to tap into that place where it's difficult. You can't just go in and do a few really light leg extensions, a few hamstring curl and think they're gonna grow. And that's why most guys in this instant, females are normally better. Most guys are absolute fannies when it comes to training legs. Thankfully my training partner, uh, my client Sam was training with me and he trains well. He's just a fair bit lighter than me. so the weights were all over the shop. But that is the setup of my leg day. Hopefully in the next sort of couple of months when restrictions are a bit lighter, I can film the whole thing and I'll go through why I'm doing each thing that way. And we will most likely be adding in another leg day, I would presume, when I go back up to five training days, but currently at the moment it's four. So easy enough, any questions about that, just fire away on Instagram and I will get back to you. Just me speaking shite again for the um, update for the sort of week in general is weight from last week to this week was actually down, down point 0.1 which is a bit strange considering calories are so much higher and I wasn't training but uh, visually I'm not as lean which is fine. I did have a, my highest weigh in in ages at 85.4 on Saturday, which I freaked out at, at a bit, but then I went and changed legs, so I didn't really have that much uh, time to freak out about it. And obviously looking at it from a logical, logical point of view, it's meant to happen. So I always make a joke that below 85, I've got abs and above 85 a little bit of potato. So potato gains are coming. Um, as you can see by the photos, I'm still looking relatively lean. Um, just a little bit fuller through the abs and not as vascular, but as said uh, the other part of the vlog, energy levels are coming back slowly. The next couple of weeks should really come back even more. This is the nicest street in Dundee by the way, um, they should come back a bit faster. So we're in a good spot, just now letting the, trying to sort of let Cal deal with everything because I don't really want to, where I normally struggle is, you see the, see your abs going, you see your leanness going, and that can be a bit of a head fuck. But if I just take my photos once a week, don't really look at the data so much and just send it over it should be a bit easier and with calories being a bit higher workouts should be fueled fueled a bit better which should then mean my logbook is going to fly up the only shit show is still this injury because all the rehab work is um all the rehab work is scapula scapula movements like um to move that about which then means I was training push today and I had absolutely no stability because my scat pill was gassed out from doing the rehab stuff. Obviously when you're pressing, there was just no stability there. So a bit annoying in that sense, considering that is now push and pull being pretty much um, fucked by it. But that's what it is, just got to keep it doing. I'm doing pull tomorrow. So I'll see how that feels. I did try a few movements today and they felt better. So fingers crossed that I'll just keep going in the right direction. Legs on the other hand, it's very easy to chain because apart from on a leg press where you pull down in the handle, there's nothing I need to stabilize through my lats. So that is everything for the week. Weight's up a little bit, energy's up a little bit, still injured everywhere. Any questions as usual, drop it in my DMs. If you've not had a look, head over to the website for our eight week um, elite transformation early bird, which is up now, and you can have a look at that.
Here's Robin, she's just walking ahead of me. She's running away from me because she doesn't want to be in the vlog. <laughs> <laughs>